channel welcome if you're returning welcome back make sure you guys hit that subscribe button right down below don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you know when your girl is uploading like duh give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below for all my loyal subscribers out there before y'all jump on my case i know i haven't really been posting as consistently this month this month just has been like a super crazy crazy month but i am back and now i have the time to dedicate and push out great quality videos for you guys so as you guys can see from the title today i am doing a what I am doing a puppy haul. Y'all, I'm dumb hype because, okay, my birthday is December 2nd, and ever since I was five, I've been wishing for a puppy, and I'm turning 26, and my mom finally bit the bullet. Like, now she's finally blessing me with a puppy, so I am super excited to have my son. His name is Fendi. Um, he will have an Instagram page so you know y'all gonna have to go ahead and follow him i will put his instagram link down below just because when i'm filming this video i don't have his page up as of yet so yeah um enough of the shit chat let's just jump right in to it um okay so everything that i can link will be down below because it's a lot and the stuff that i can't link because i've got i got a lot of stuff from like home goods um good luck with finding it first i want to start off with doodle couture new york they gave my my son fendi his very first pr package i'm so hyped shout out to doodle couture thank you so so much i love your stuff your stuff is super super cute and i know fendi is gonna just look so fly in it um but yeah if you guys don't know they basically are a little doggy boutique and they sell collars leashes bandanas little ties they have the poop bags it's just super super cute you guys definitely need to check them out i will link them down below but yes let's open up this package for fendi this was also gifted to him by the way if you guys didn't catch my drift but yes oh my god there's a little okay here it is a little denim poop bag which it comes with poop bags already inside which i love um yes this is so cute like the denim the denim and then here's his little harness he's gonna be super small guys um the breeder said that he's most likely gonna be three pounds he's like a teacup but then she sent me one video of him and he was like very very tiny and then the updated video of him little boy got big so i don't really know how big he's gonna be we're gonna see if he's actually gonna remain this teacup size or maybe it's just the camera putting 10 pounds on him i don't really know but yeah this is so so cute what else what else oh and then we have his leash and it's all denim like y'all this this is a look i already know i have a i have this denim jumpsuit that me and him can be matching like son and mama pics y'all not even ready for the gram y'all not even ready but thank you so much doodle couture and they gave him a card let's read the card this is a card and it says we hope you love your new couture thanks for being an ambassador you're welcome oh my Fendi's an ambassador guys Yo, my son is about to be a star. He's about to take over the Instagram game. So, this was the stuff given to me by Doodle Couture. I actually bought stuff from Doodle Couture. Um, so, let me show you guys what I bought. Um, okay, it's hot. Here's a collar. This also, all of this stuff right here came in like, uh, it was like a set, so yeah. He is gonna be a Yorkie, and I know they said like Yorkies have very fragile necks, so like 
you really shouldn't put a collar on him, but it came in the set, so yeah. But here's his collar. I don't know if you guys can see. It's giving army fatigue. If you know and you watch all my videos, you know I have a thing for green. Like, that's like my color. So, yes, we're about to be matching it up. Here's his little harness. It's, you know, the army with the pop of red. You always gotta have the pop of color. Which, one thing about their harness is so cute. It has like this little pocket, right? And you can put like a little treat or something in there. And then his leash that also came with a poop bag dispenser and it has the poop bags already inside. And his little bandana. Oh. <laughs> This is so freaking cute, his bandana. And my little man has a bow tie. Guys, look how cute. My son is about to be fly. So yes, this is all of his stuff for like, I guess walking, that, there goes that stuff. Oh, next, with the same kind of category, is his, his um id tag and this is so cute i don't know if you guys can actually read it but it says i'm lost somebody call my mama period and then it just has his name on the back my name and my phone number but it's so freaking cute it's so tiny i'm like oh this is like having a little baby guys i'm just excited so next my mom she had to if you guys don't know i danced for the clippers um and my mom bought her grandson his first clippers jersey it's so freaking cute hopefully he can fit it or grow into it if not it's just gonna be giving early 2000s swag you know baggy so yes that is like all of that type of stuff i didn't go correct i didn't buy clothes and the reason why is because like i said like i don't know what size he's actually going to be so i rather have him and like can see him in person and then buy clothes rather than spend all this money on clothes and he can't fit any of it so yeah next this is from amazon the, the next couple of items is from amazon and this is like this just a little like book bag well not even a book bag it's like a sling around bag let me just But yeah, it's just like this little um, sling around bag. So like if I go to like Petco or the mall or something, I can just put him in this little bag. His head goes like right here and it has like a little zipper. So I guess I could put like my wallet and stuff like that in it. But yeah, this is just like a little carrying bag for him. Um, I like the fact that it's leather and it's mesh. So it's like breathable. He won't be super hot in there um but yeah hopefully like i said he fits this this is a, a small so yeah there goes his little carrying bag next up i'm not really gonna open this because it has a lot of pieces but i'll insert the picture is his car seat yes i bought him a car seat like he's gonna be in my car for like i said when we go to the mall, go to Petco, or just when he's going to the groomers, the vet, he needs to be in a car seat. He's not about to be bare booty on my seats. So, here's his little car seat. Next, I guess we can get into toys. That's like kind of it for his like outdoorsy stuff, you know? Next, for toys now, I got him this Puppy Smart toy thing you put treats in it and he has to like flip the little bones i don't know if you guys can see but he has to like flip the bones try to flip the bones and get the treats they said it's good for stimulating their brain so since my dog is going to be the next doggy einstein we're going to start him out with this this is like level one so it's like the easy level um but yeah this is from amazon so it'll be linked down below next i got this super cute bin that had that's double-sided just for all his toys um one side is for like his indoor toys the other side is for his outdoor toys i just don't want the germs to be mixing or whatnot um but yeah this bin i also got it from amazon i don't know if you guys can notice but his house colors are gray so yeah so let's open up one 
side. So a lot of the toys I got from Chewy. And yeah, Chewy, pretty much all the toys, except for like two I got from Chewy. So this first one, this one is definitely from Chewy. It's just a little freaking Donald Duck. Like how cute is this? I think he squeaks. He does. And it's just so freaking cute. Like this is this was like super cute. I had to get it. Um, next, I actually got this from Amazon. This is a minion and it's crunk. It squeaks and it's crinkly. So I know they said like some dolls prefer crinkle, some dolls prefer squeak. So I just got him a toy that has both. I wanted to get him a mixture of both just because I don't know what his vibe is, you know. I don't I'm not going I'm not really sure what he's vibing with yet. So I just got both. Um next is this super super cute penguin. If you know me, I've always had this obsession with penguins ever since I was in pre-K and we did this class project on penguins. But yeah, I think I got him from Home Goods. I'm gonna sleep with him so that he can have something in his crate for um, like when I'm not home or when he's sleeping, just with my scent on it. Um, next is, oh God, this little crocodile. I think I got him off of Chewy. And yeah, I don't, he squeaks as well, <laughs> but it's so cute. He's made with good quality, so like he won't be able to like tear him into shreds, which is good. Next, I got this I actually got from Petco, and it's supposed to be like a calming um, aromatherapy bear. Don't know how well this is gonna work. Um, it's It says that like when he pushes on it, the aroma, the lavender scent, um, of a, the, of the lavender aromatherapy oil, whatever, is supposed to like push out. I don't smell it when I squeeze it, but maybe it's just a, a dull thing, I don't know. But he also squeaks. So this is something, like I said, he can either have this in his, well actually this makes noise and I'm not trying to hear this at night. So this will be for when I'm not home and he has to be in his playpen and he just needs to calm down. Got this toy from Chewy. You also have to be careful because I received this same toy with the initial package of all of his stuff. And I don't know, it's rubber and the rubber was peeling and I just felt like he can choke on it. So I did contact Chewy and they sent me another one and it's pretty much brand new. It doesn't, it's not peeling, but I'm still gonna like be careful and watch him while he plays with this toy. But like. He can pull it, I don't, it's it's kind of soft. I don't know, maybe tug of war or something like that. But one thing I can say, Chewy's um, customer service is A1 like the sauce. Next, let's get into his Nala bones. Some of them I got off of Amazon, some of them I got off of Chewy, but here's the puppy Nala bone. It says it's chicken flavor. I don't know, it kind of smells like rubber. I got him this one, like I said, the puppy. Then I got him the Puppy Kong. I know a lot of people was just like, oh, just get the small from the videos that I've watched on YouTube. A lot of people just got the small, but like I said, because the, the breeder said he may be a teacup, I'm like, this may just be the perfect size for him. But it's soft. I'm gonna put like treats and like peanut butter in here. Keep him occupied when I have to like edit videos or do submission videos for my agents and stuff, so yeah. Then I got him a, um, it's like a teething toy. It says softer for teething puppies and this is also chicken flavor. It looks like this. I got him a lot of teething toys also because I have a lot of shoes. Me and my cousin both have a lot of shoes and he cannot chew up any shoes in this house. Like he cannot. Also he won't have access to my closet so that's another thing but in case he sees a shoe laying around, which it won't be mine, and he starts to chew on it, he has he has a, a ton of chew toys. This uh, this also is a Nala bone, and you can put it in the freezer. Basically, like how babies, you have like the freezing the freezing um, teething toys. So this is just what it looks like, and this is lamb and apple flavor. And then next, I got him a Kong activity ball. It says smooths gums and fun for um, fun to chew so you can put like treats and stuff in here as well it's pink honestly I don't know why it's pink I think I wasn't able to like pick the color 
for this. A lot of the Nyla bones, I mean, uh, some of the Kong toys, like this one and this one, you weren't able to pick the color for it. So whatever color you got is just what you got. Luckily for this one, I actually got blue. But yeah, so here, that's all of his toys so far. I didn't really, like I said, I haven't really gone crazy with like the toys and clothes and stuff like that because I just want to start out small and then grow. We all know I am an impulsive shopper. So this is a lot for me already. Next I have, well, this is a toy also, but um, this set, I thought this was for puppies and it's actually for extreme chewers or something like that. Um, clearly it's not a puppy toy, but when he grows up and his teeth get strong, um, he can play with this outside. And then here's this, a blanket. This blanket I actually got from Petco as well. This is also a part of the like aromatherapy. It's supposed to be calming and it's supposed to like smell like lavender. Don't really smell that. Like I said, maybe it's for like, maybe it smells like lavender to dogs. I don't know. But I'm also going to start sleeping with this um, this weekend because I wanted to have my scent on it as well. But yeah, so that's it for toys. Let's get into feeding. Feeding, I got these bowl, this bowl set from Amazon. It has like the silicone base just so it won't slip and he can't flip it over. It comes with two bowls, one for each side. Um, I also got him a slow feeder bowl. I got this from home goods and it was like three bucks from home goods um like i said i'm a new puppy mom so like i've never had a dog a day in my life so i don't know if he's going to be a fast eater slow eater so i just got this just in case he's a fast eater and he starts his stomach starts getting upset he can just slow down take his time but also like when my friends who offered to babysit him when they babysit him I'm going to send them send them this one just because I want him to, I just want him to be careful at other people's house. Okay, so this I also got from, I also got this from Home Goods. It's his container for his food. Um, it's like, clearly it's like airtight. I, I'm like holding it by the top and it's not moving. Um, but it's cute. It says puppy love, bakery, pet food, gourmet, um, gourmet entrees, all natural ingredients, whatever. What I'm going to do is keep his dog food in a bag and just put the bag in here because I read online that they were saying that if you take the food out of the bag and just have it in the containers, the oils and stuff can oxidize and I don't want that to happen. So it'll just be in here, but in the bag. Okay, the next is his treats ball this is so cute it's also from home goods i'm gonna bring it up close it says treats on it and then it has like a dog on top it already has treats in it for my lovely fendi so i'm gonna just show you guys so i like i said i've watched a million and one videos on youtube like puppy holes and stuff like that so this one is the um blue buffalo i think that's what it's called yeah blue buffalo and this is the savory salmon this is from Zooks. Everyone talked about Zooks Mini Naturals. So this is the peanut butter and oats recipe. These are also on sale at PetSmart when I went that day. So that's why I have his treats and I don't have food yet. Um, this is the tasty chicken recipe. And then this one is the tender beef. I just wanted to get a variety of different flavors. I don't know what's, his, what's gonna be his favorite flavor. Um, I know his food that he's eating right now is chicken flavor, so clearly he likes chicken, but I wanted to switch it, switch things up. I also wanted to get him treats for like teething and for his teeth, but those treats, the smaller size, it says like he has to be five pounds, and like I said, I don't know how much he weighs yet, so I want to wait on getting those until I know exactly his size. Let me just keep this right here. 
but yeah that's it for the food so we're gonna now make our way over here in this basket i got him a basket to go underneath my sink i have a double sink in my bathroom so he'll have his own side of the sink as well um but yeah i got this basket from home goods and it just has extra poop bags in here it has his shampoo i did the buddy wash lavender and mint and this is a two-in-one so it's a shampoo and conditioner um a lot of i saw a lot of people recommend this for yorkies and then this is just a spritzer and conditioner and it's the same scent lavender and mint um he'll be going to the groomers like when i'm lazy um, but in my building, we have a dog run, a, like a, a dog park, and we have a dog spa, so I can go downstairs and wash him as well. So that's why I just got this type of stuff. I got a brush. All of this I got off of Amazon and Chewy. And then I got him a lick lick pad. So they said like with puppies especially, when you're, wash when you're grooming them, you should have something that they can play with so that you know they can concentrate and it makes bath time fun or whatever so i got him this lick pad and like i said i'll put um peanut butter on it or something then no stinky breath here you know toothpaste toothpaste toothbrush all of that good stuff so yes this is his little hygiene area also i got these two um they're washable pee pads they're gonna go in his playpen, which I will insert a picture of his playpen because that thing is just way too big to be putting together and showing y'all. I put it together once and yeah, it's currently sitting in my bathtub because it's just that big. But <laughs> but yeah, this, um, I'm gonna put it in his playpen or whatever. So yeah, washable pee pads. Okay, now we are in his sleeping area. Like I've mentioned, he is going to have a, he is gonna be, he, blah, blah. I do have a playpen for him. The playpen is literally just for, like I said, like when I'm editing or when I have to go to games or rehearsal, I just want him to be confined in a space and not just roaming all around the house. Because even though I have a roommate, this is not his dog, so this is really not his responsibility. Um, so yeah, I also am getting a camera. It's on sale for Black Friday. It's like a little camera that I can just spy on him and watch him and like talk to him through. So yeah, that's that. But like I said, here's a picture somewhere over here of his playpen. Next, I have one of his two little beds. I saw this at Home Goods, guys, and I was just like, I have to get it. It's so cute. It's a crown because he's a prince, a king, you know. I like that you can take this part out and wash it. It's removable. This will go in his playpen just so that he can have somewhere comfy to like sit and lay in when he's in his playpen. Here is his pee pad holder, which I didn't buy pee pad. Okay, so I didn't get his pee pads yet. There's still a couple of things that I just need to get, which is like his food, some wipes, and pee pads, and oh yeah, like two towels for him because he's not going to be using my towels, but this is a pee pad holder. I got this from PetSmart, and I just got this because one, I don't need him tearing up his pee pads, and two, I don't want his pee pads to just be on the floor. This is an apartment that I'm renting, and I just don't want it to damage the carpet or the hardwood floors or like the tiles in my bathroom. But yeah, you just unhook it, put the pee pads. This little grate part, this part right here, it can be taken out. So like if he doesn't react, if he doesn't react well to the grate, I'll just wind up taking the grate part out and just having the pee pad just on it on the holder by itself. But yeah. So that's his pee pad holder. Okay, now we get to the huge item. Okay, let me just scoop this. Okay, so this is his crate. This is a Diggs crate. I did a lot of research, guys, on crates, and I know I could have gotten a cheaper crate. I already know that. 
But like I said, I'm a first time puppy mom, dog mom in general, and I'm just like very nervous. You hear a lot of horror stories about how the little wire crates, the puppies and the dogs like tear their noses, cut their nose, cut their paws. I just don't have the patience or the time for that because like I'm a big cry baby, especially when it comes to my loved ones. And since that's my child, my child has to have nothing but the best, period. So that's why I went with Diggs. But I like this, it's super sturdy, as you can see. Um, it's like aluminum or whatever. I like it too because I can, I can like push this down and I can travel with it if I actually need to. Or like I said, like if he's going over to one of my friend's houses, all I have to do is just push it down and take it there. Um, it opens like this. And here's the door opening. He has his little bed in here, and it's also I also have the puppy um, divider in here as well because since he is gonna be little, I don't want him to think that it's okay to pee in his crate. Like I oh, why is my camera doing this? Oh my God, sorry guys, my camera is starting to trip out. So let me just hurry up and finish this video. He will be pup, um, crate trained just for nighttime. This is literally just for night, just so that he can have his own little zhuzh to sleep in. Um, but yeah, it has a puppy divider in it because I don't want him to think it's okay with going to the bathroom in here with the extra space. And then once he gets older and he's fully, fully potty trained, then I'll take the divider out and then he can have this whole entire space. This could be his little sanctuary, his little spa. But like I said, he's only gonna be in this at nighttime, like only when it's time to go to sleep. This is not something that when I am working, he's gonna be confined in. Like that's that's not, no. Um, actually I'm missing one last thing. Hold on. Ooh, child. Okay, so. To go along with crate training, and this is the last item in my puppy haul, I did get um, the Groove, and it's from Diggs as well. And it's literally this little thingamajig that you can hook on to the um, crate, like you can place in a crate, um, like you can connect it to a crate. This. This can go with any crate as well. It doesn't have to be a Diggs crate. It could be like any other crate. But like I said, you put it, in, clearly not over here, but you put it in on the side, you twist it or whatever. I'm gonna use this to, like I said, when I'm crate training him to make him feel like this is a fun place for him to be. I don't want him to feel like this is jail. So I'm gonna put like Greek yogurt, um, like, like smoothies, like little doggy smoothies. And I can put this on top of it, freeze it. And when it's time for him to, you know, crate train and stuff like that, I'll just give him this. Or like I said, I can do like mash um, bananas, peanut butter, whatever he likes, pretty much. But yeah, that is the end of my puppy haul. If you're watching this because you're getting a puppy soon, I hope this stuff helps. Like I said, everything will be linked down below. If you have a dog or a puppy, and you wanna recommend products to me, please comment down below. I am open to any suggestions. Like I said, he's a Yorkie. The breeder says that he is a teacup size. So uh, yeah, any recommendations that you guys have, let me know. Um, if you're in the Los Angeles area and you know of a great groomer and a vet, comment that down below as well. Like I said, by the time this video goes up his instagram page will well actually no his instagram page won't be up but i'll do an intro video i'll show him when i get him and that will be like a vlog and his instagram will be included in that video so yes i love you guys so much thank you for watching like i said my birthday is next week so Run this up with the comments, likes, share this, you know, that could be y'all birthday gift to me. Y'all birthday gift to me can just be you supporting my YouTube channel and my Instagram page at I am Nia Imani. So yes, I love you guys so, so much. Please stay safe. 
Don't forget to wear the mask because, you know, things are still getting a little cray cray out here. Safe travels, you know, for the holidays. And yes, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.